Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Um, today I received uh, uh, quite a few products um, from a, I'm assuming it's a brand and a website, um, like they promote and sell their own products. Um, this this, uh, this brand I'd never heard of, uh, they actually had contacted me and um, asked if I could, uh, or was interested, I guess, in... Uh, I don't know how to describe it, I guess reviewing their products. Um, product reviews for me are a little bit hard. Um, I know that you guys enjoy them and all that kind of stuff, but uh, for me, like, it's like a different level of thinking. So, like with sneakers, like I've already, like, I don't know how to explain it. I've been into sneakers since I was a little kid, and especially the, the tech side of it. So, uh, doing performance reviews and breakdowns and stuff like that on performance footwear for me is pretty easy. Um, but for performance products and apparel, like, it's a little bit different just because, like, you know, this could fit me differently or, or maybe I have a different reaction or whatever it is, you know what I mean? So, like, it's, it's a little bit hard, plus, like, people tend to complain that I talk a lot, like, that Nike Elite sock video, like, I understand, that was 10 minutes on a sock, it's pretty crazy, but, um, you know, so, sometimes it, it's warranted, I guess, and, um, this is all the stuff that they sent. I'm just going to do a quick look at everything. That way you guys can at least get a quick, um, I wouldn't say breakdown, but just that way you're aware of the brand. Um, they were, the one thing that they requested was that I, I review each of these products individually, um, which I will do. So uh, this is something for, I guess, you guys to look forward to and uh, you know stay tuned and everything. Um, but a lot of these things I've never, never reviewed before, like ever. So this is going to be a little bit, a little bit difficult, so just kind of stay with me, bear with me, and all that stuff. Um, hopefully I do a good job at it, but this is just to kind of introduce you to the brands. Um, I did check out their products uh, before even accepting, um, just because I, I wanted to get familiar with their stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and they, they take care of uh, performance products uh, for pretty much all, all uh, uh, what do you call it, all sports. So like if you're, if you're playing baseball, or if you play football, um, I think they had stuff for soccer and running as well, and then of course basketball. So this is like a really kind of an interesting brand just because they take care of uh, performance products and uh, this stuff right here is kind of like apparel um, for a multitude of sports. So if you are interested, just go check them out. You can check out the uh, website in the description box below. Um, I'll have a link there. And I've already wasted about, looks like, three minutes or so. So here here we go. We'll just get right into it. I'm not going to try not to edit everything. Just kind of just flow through it. Um, this is a, uh, um, man, what is it called? A, a mouth guard. Um, these, these are used for all sports. Um, the NBA players, I think, are required to wear them now. And I actually had to wear these in high school. And then we're, like, a lot bigger, though. This thing is tiny. Um, but yeah, it says Nano 3D on there, uh, number one mouth guard in the world, smallest and lightest, it looks like it, um, high impact protection, triple layer technology, increased athletic performance, I don't know about that part, but, um, the, the first two items I definitely would believe, because, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, I got, like, headbutted one time when I was in high school, and my, uh, my top tooth, um, went through my lip and through my tongue, my bottom lip. And my mouth, my mom was all like, "Oh, you know, like you could have knocked your tooth out or whatever." So like, she made me wear a mouth guard every time I played, and it was this big, bulky thing. And I have a very sensitive gag reflex, um, which is like a weird thing to complain about. But you know, I I have a very sensitive uh, gag reflex, and um, anytime I would put that thing in my mouth, I'd always just like start dry heaving and stuff, and I'd have to play with it. So it was really annoying. So something this small is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll check this out and I'll do a review. If you needed a mouth guard or whatever, um, go check them out. Uh, this is their their logo right here, uh, Shock Doctor. So this is a mouth guard, and yes, it will get a, uh, a product review. So one thing that gets uh, requested like a lot, like I'm really surprised at how often this gets requested about, um, like for like uh, a product review, but compression sleeves. Um, I know that you guys see me wear them all the time. Um, mine's more of a... Oh, I guess since you're here, I'll just explain it real quick. Um, the reason why I wear a compression sleeve is just because I had injured my elbow, my shooting elbow, or on my shooting arm, sorry. 
and uh, it started to get like tendonitis in there and so it'd, it'd be pretty painful. Um, anybody that's ever had tendonitis knows what that feels like. It's a really weird targeted sharp pain and um, I still needed to play and all this stuff so I ended up getting a, a really tight compression sleeve just to kind of keep everything together and keep it warm, um, compressed and all that stuff and uh, that, that first night that I wore the compression sleeve I mean I just went off on shooting like I couldn't miss one and um, ever since then I was like screw it I'm just gonna wear a shooting sleeve because it was like a, a mental or good luck thing for me so um, but yeah we have a compression sleeve here this is a red one um, I'm pretty sure they have other colors and sizes and then they also have uh, this one that I'll review um, which is a padded arm sleeve with what they're calling shock skin I don't know I don't know what that means but um, yeah, all of this stuff I'm unfamiliar with, so again, just bear with me and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's got all of the stuff they have. It looks like there's airflow technology, like a dry fit type thing, and all of that stuff. Uh, adaptive protection. So, uh, let's see. Contours to the elbow. Airflow mesh zones to accelerate heat, heat dispersion and moisture transfer. And that's kind of interesting. So, um, so yeah. So you know, again, you could go check these things out if you're interested in these products, just to kind of get a feel for them. And again, I'll do a performance review, not a performance review, a product review on these later. Another big thing that I get asked about almost daily is is insoles. I get emails on these all the time. Um, what kind of insoles to use? Uh, which ones are good? Which ones are bad? Brands? Where to get them? Um, so on and so forth. This is a court specific insole again from this company Shock Doctor and this is one of the coolest things about this company that I thought anyways is that they had an insole section and it was um, they had insoles for every sport and then they had like one that was like a multi thing so that you can use it for anything and all that stuff. So this I thought was really awesome. Um, I'm just going to open this up and check them out because I'm kind of interested in them. Um, oh man these are kind of heavy duty. Uh, Let's see, wow, these are wow, these are way different than anything. This is my first time seeing these, so bear with me here, you guys. Um, I'm gonna grab an older insole. So got this, got this. I got performance stuff like all over my my room, so I'm sorry. Um, Alright, so this is going to be a good example. This is the kind of crap that comes with your shoes. Like, usually they're really cheap and thin. Um, this is a Nike one. This, I believe, came with my Air Penny 4s, and it was too thin for me. I did not like it, uh, so I ended up using a different insole. What I ended up using was this guy right here. Um, this is a... I don't know if you could see it. So it's Polysorb by Spenko. It's got um, targeted heel cushion and all that stuff. This one happens to have built-in arch uh, in it as well. And if you could see just how flimsy this one is versus this one, not moving at all. Um, so this is going to have some spring back to it, which is going to be kind of weird. This is strange. This is like a this is like carbon fiber plate. Um, that's that kind of effect that a, a spring plate will give you. Um, and same with the Under Armour. Uh, the calf condoms, the charge BBs, um, those had that plastic TPU spring plate on the outsole and so that's kind of like what this effect is going to be and then inside you could see the cushion which is the orange and then some kind of foam. It feels fairly dense right now but who knows. Um, it's got this weird, let me try to block some of the light, it's got this weird, looks like the Kobe logo like this, <laughs> so, um, but it's for your toes obviously, this is where your big toe would go and the rest of them, so that's kind of weird. And then it's got a little bit of arch in it. And then it's got that uh, shock pad targeted cushioning. So this will be an interesting one to, to do because this is definitely way different than this. I um, hope they fit inside my shoes. Alright, so here's just the box real quick for the insole. Um, it says that you can trim if needed and all that stuff, but this is everything that it it says adaptive arch technology adapts to any foot shape for perfect fit protection and natural shock absorption biomechanical contour design comfortably cradles your foot for superior comfort and support um, and it says air uh, slash FX 
microbial top cover. That basically just means that it's going to fight the funk. Um, if you've got stinky feet or whatever it is, like this uh, sock liner is going to combat that. It's antimicrobial. Um, let's see the full foot shock absorbing foam, lightweight support cap, which is that plastic type stuff. It's not plastic, but it's thick, that, the black part. And then a uh, heel and midfoot uh, shock dome. Oh, I guess that's what that midfoot thing was. That's kind of cool. So, um, it says that absorbs the jarring shocks that could transfer to your knees, hips, and lower back. Midfoot shock dome relaxes your foot and can help relieve plantar fasciitis. Um, I, I just got a couple of emails about people with, with that kind of uh, problem. So, these are really, really cool. Very interesting. Um, definitely can't wait to try these out and, uh, you know, see what they're all about. So um, what it had explained with the, the targeted foam sections, that is what I am keep telling everybody what, what is the biggest difference between foam cushion and um, like a targeted air cushion, uh, you know, like a Zoom or a Heel Air Max or full length, whatever it is. So um, that's that. Insoles, go check them out. Pretty cool. All right, so the last uh, two pieces are somewhat compression gear, but it looks more like a protective gear. Looks like something a football player would wear. These are shorts, by the way. Um, or not shorts, they're undershorts. You don't want to wear these. Well, you can if you want to be weird, but, you know. Um, but there's uh, all these, like, targeted pads. It kind of feels weird. I've never worn anything like this, so again, this is going to be all new for me. Um, but there is targeted plates of padding. One right at the tailbone here. And then... Um, right around that that hip and joint area, and then the um, the top of the thigh. So this will be interesting. Um, this is they call it shock skin, five five pad compression short. So breathability, freedom of movement. I'm showing you guys this that way. If you play basketball and you want to check these out, then go for it. Um, again, I will do a separate review for everything. Uh, as they had requested, so but yeah, this is uh, this is pretty neat. They got vents in here, all that stuff for ventilation. So um, very cool. And then what is this? I don't know what that's for. Um, there's two. Oh, I guess it was just to keep it folded up or something. Let me get rid of this. Alright, so this one is, um, this is a tank, so a compression tank, and then that has, uh, again, targeted padding all along the back and the rib cage, and a little bit on the chest, but not too much. So, here is the pads inside. It's got a nice liner on it. Seems like it'll be pretty comfortable. So, um... Yeah, these are vented as well. They got micro mesh. This is similar to like stuff that you'd see like Adidas promoting through uh, the NBA, like on Dwight Howard and uh, Derrick Rose, their athletes, and all that stuff. So it pretty much says the same thing. It says three pad compression tank. So that's that. Alright guys, so that pretty much takes care of everything. Um, I know that this is probably a longer video, I'm sorry about that, but I just wanted to give you guys a good introduction into the type of products that Shock Doctor has available for basketball players, and as well uh, let you know that they have other products as well for uh, plenty of other sports, including football, baseball, etc. So um, I just so happen to have league game tonight, so I'm going to actually wear this stuff um, and just test it out. Uh, it's kind of... I don't know about this whole padding stuff. I've never worn it before, so hopefully it doesn't restrict movement and all that kind of stuff. I guess that's what I would be talking about in a review. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, um, I get knocked around a lot. So I'm, I, I don't know about you guys. I've, I've had separated ribs before, like the cartilage and stuff. So I, I know that, like, the compression tank will probably help me out. Um, I have to guard, like, bigger guys all the time. I'm pretty small. 5'7", for everybody that keeps asking. Um, I've mentioned it plenty of times before, so, um, but yeah, I get, I get dinged up in the, in the rib cage quite often and stuff like that, but, um, you know, so this is pretty interesting, um, again, good, just go check them out, uh, if you are competitive in sports, you can check these out, and, um, again, they have 
tons of stuff, tons of, of insoles and all that stuff. I'm not saying that it's good to buy. Um, that's what the reviews will be for. This is just to introduce you in, into the brands um, itself, their website, their products. And if you are interested and you want to kind of just jump the gun, then go for it. Because um, I'm sure that they got stuff for, for people, um, you know, that, that you might want. Like something like this. Like this probably doesn't need a a review. I'm I'm not going to get hit in the mouth on purpose just to make sure that this thing has shock absorption, but I will let you know if it's comfortable. So, um, but you know what I mean? So like if you wanted to grab a, a thinner mouth guard, like this would be something where you don't quite need a review for it. Um, but like compression sleeves, insoles, and um, basically under armor. Uh, no offense to Under Armour, but the uh, the compression stuff, the padded compression stuff. So um, stuff like that might need a review. So thank you guys again. This is really long. I'm sorry. Hopefully I can edit this down. Um, but thank you guys, and uh, make sure to stay tuned to my site, kicksoncourt.com. And until next time, have a good one.